Hola everyone, I'm back. Did you guys miss me? I definitely missed you guys a lot, a lot. I have um, been going through a lot of personal and uh, a lot of uh, transition in my life and so my crafting um, time has really decreased a lot, significantly so, that I don't even have a crafting space anymore. Um, I'm actually in the process of moving. We're selling our home, as most of you guys know. We're selling our home, and so it's just been super crazy. This transition is so stressful um, from packing to, you know, getting rid of stuff. And, um, you know, it's just really, really time-consuming, um, especially when I'm the only one that's uh, that's doing it. I have no help um, other than my um, my super husband. Um, but either way, last week I ended up going on vacation and I tell you what, you guys, I need a vacation from this vacation. <laughs> um, I am so tired. I am so worn out. It's unbelievable. But enough about me. I wanted to do this video because I, um, had made, um, a few weeks ago, I completed a, um, cigar box. And this was for a swap that I um, had approached someone in doing. And this was a while ago um, that I approached this beautiful person by the name of Sarah um, to do a, a cigar box swap with me. And um, we decided that we were going to do it, um, you know, and take our time with it. And uh, gave ourselves around um, the end of May, um, you know, to send it off and what have you. And so... <clears throat> Sarah's such a sweet person. I wish that circumstances were a little bit different where I got to know her um, personally more on a one-on-one -on -one level. Um, it's just been so chaotic. So I apologize, Sarah, if I've been um, MIA, um, you know, a couple of times or replied to you, um, you know, in delayed responses. It's, it's not my intention. I've never been like that, but um, you guys know what I've been going through. So anyways, um, let me show you guys what I did because I can't wait to get it off to her. It came out super beautiful. This is the cigar box that I made for Sarah. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. She says she likes, um, you know, shabby chic and vintage and pinks and stuff like that. So I um, kept with her likes and um, I hope it gets to her in one piece. You know, I have to ship it all the way to United Kingdom. So I'm super wrapping this, <laughs> this really carefully. But um, the cigar box itself, I, I had a hard time finding cigar boxes this time around at Michael's. And so um, when I finally did get a hold of um, a store that had it, I picked up um, two of them. So anyways, um, I'll walk you step by step on what I did. First of all, I painted the cigar box. It's really beautiful um, pink color. It's by um, Folk Art and um, I painted it all around in the inside and in the out and then on the edges here as you guys can see I crackled Let's see if I can show you guys I crackled the um, the top layer because so I wanted to give it more of a vintage um, look to it and so what I used was this um, new material I've never used before and this is by Deco Art and it's the textured crackle and it's supposed to have crackled like that it didn't really come out that crackled but it came out you know enough that you can see it and it's nice super nice it's like um like a putty I'll show you guys really quickly just in case you've never seen it before it's like a putty and so you just scoop it up um, it has a strong odor, you guys, so if you're sensitive, um, definitely be careful or use it in a well-ventilated um, well area or use a mask, you know. Um, but anyhow, I crackled it, and then on the edges, as you can see here, um, it has like this Distress um, ink I used from Tim Holtz, and I wanted to distress it to give it more of a pinky look. And this is what I used, the fire brick one. And I just grabbed it and I distressed, um, you know, the box inside and out, all the edges and everything. And then, um, because I wanted to give it more of a vintage look, I did distress um, certain parts of it with the gathered twigs, you know, like certain areas to kind of um, 
darken the um, the box a little bit you know the pink a little bit um, and then she is super lucky because I used the last of my hoardings for the satin trimming that I um, was hoarding forever and I used the last bit of it on her box and it came out absolutely gorgeous I just love this trimming and then um, the um, trim the Chinese uh, braided trim that you see here was part of my stash I had uh, previously purchased and um, I just went all around here as well as on the sides as you can see here on the sides as well and you can even see the pink um, the stress I mean I did it all around the box too, so show you guys it's a really nice effect I think I'm gonna use that from now on so anyway so I did it all around the trimming um, the flowers are the Prima flowers that I had in my stash and they're really nice because they have that crystal um, you know like that sugar look on top of it I absolutely love I use one of these silk flowers that I had in my stash um, that I had previously purchased the appliques itself was part of my vintage wedding dress that I had taken apart um, let me see I cannot remember if I got this from Annie or if I got this from Evelyn because um, I had bought um, a few from Evelyn as well but both girls sell them so you guys can always go to either one um, then these are the rose paper roses that I had in my stash and I kind of like gathered them all there and surrounded it by white as well um, I added more appliques here and the little rosebud there the picture which I absolutely love I should have um, Mod podged it, but I was concerned that it might have da would have damaged it. But um, for next time, I'll probably do that. I'll just mod podge it just to give it more durability. But either way, it still looks beautiful. But the picture I got um, after googling it um, on Google, you know, I just looked up on their vintage um, vintage photos, and um, I found that, and I actually made a couple copies. Then um, this trim that you see here was part of my stash that I had gotten. Um, it's the satin trimming I used. Um, wanted to keep the same feel, but then it has a little tool, and I just wrapped it all around. These feet that you see here, the diamond feet, were a gift from Lynn, believe it or not. And so these are actually the last one that I received um, from her. Um, and that I have in my stash and I just decided to use it um, on this box seeing as I can't keep hoarding much any anyways since I'm packing um, and so that's pretty much the front of the box the inside I kept it um, simple so you have um, a I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but it's really shiny it's like pearlized paper and um, then I use this really pretty um, heart trim that I had purchased. I love this. It's so pretty. I love it. So I just trimmed the edges. The inside um, is, you know, the background is the same as, as this as well. But then I use the beautiful trim that I had gotten on the grab bag from Luscious Laces um, that Gisela had um, sent to me and I absolutely love it. It was beautiful and perfect size too. Um, and so that's that's basically the, um, the entire box. And as you guys can see, um, I actually distressed the entire box. I was going to crackle it, like I tried crackling it in the inside, but it, I didn't really like that look. So that's the entire box I really hope that she um, enjoys um, using it for you know for a long time I put a lot of love and effort into it oh and one more thing I just wanted to show you while I'm looking at it the center of this flower I popped out because I didn't like but what I used was as you can see was this and then I got this from um, Michaels and they're the wedding picks you guys so I just um, you know like cut it in half and then I um, glued it with inside of the flower so 
that's also one other thing you know another suggestion that you guys can use as well so anyways thank you so very much for watching and thank you guys for your lovely comments and um your personal emails that you that i've been getting um wondering where i've been it's nice to know that i'm loved um so thanks again and stay tuned i have another video to show you guys i'll talk to you later adios